You better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. I'd like to apologize for the audio quality right now because I can't find my normal thing that I put my GoPro in to hook up a real microphone to. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hit the play hit the game. Yo, don't hit the play hit the game. What are we doing today? Today is sort of a Monday madness. Yeah, it is Monday Madness because we're going to be making t-shirts. But first I have to find the stuff that I print on because it's a completely different t-shirt setup than I normally do. I gotta find it. I cleaned up too long ago. I should have one. It's not in there. But we're doing an MF Doom t-shirt that I did a long time ago. I used to sell them on Etsy, but I realized selling them on Etsy, Etsy is kind of funny because I wasn't making that much money on Etsy from selling a $30 t-shirt. It was basically the money that I was making from the t-shirt was, it was stupid because Etsy has a, a, whatever it's called, you have to pay for the service. But I've been selling more of them on eBay. And I'm trying to find, oh, I found it right here. Here it is. I hope this is it. Yep. All right. Sick. But I have this special paper right here, and uh, it's made for uh, like transfers. You just put it in your printer, and you print on it. The the link is down below where you hit the subscribe button, and then you could see the whole process of the T-shirt that I do with this stuff. It actually works out pretty good now, because I don't have a printer anymore because mine broke i have to go over to my mom's house and use hers but it's it's the same deal as a as a plastic heat transfer it's the same deal as a heat transfer vinyl but you print it on your computer and it's no it's not the stuff that you get at your local uh craft store it's uh, actual professional photo direct paper that's what it says right here photo paper direct i said it backwards but whatever um, it's pro professional grade stuff, so don't hate the player, hate the game. We're out here doing our own thing. All right, so I went and got the graphics printed off at my mom's house because I don't have a printer, obviously. I need to get one. Mine broke, and I've never replaced it. So I just go over there and print graphics, print labels, whatever I need. So this is what we got going on here. MF Doom. MF Doom. If you don't know who MF Doom is, then you just don't listen to cool hip hop. I'm sorry. It's your fault, not mine. <laughs> but here it is, right here. The MF Doom graphic is on this heat transfer paper. It works out perfect. We got some white tees, because I got another graphic that we're going to do first, just in case, because I've never used my mom's printer to print out these type of graphics before. So. We got this one right here just for me, and I'm going to put it on the eBay website. Whatever I want to put it on, because I know this one right here is going to sell, because Wu-Tang is for the children, and it has John Lennon on it. And I think that's Method Man in the background with John Lennon. But um, the reason why they're backwards is because when you press them on the shirt, you peel the stuff off, it comes off and it's the right side. So all the graphics, even the heat transfer vinyl to the plastic heat transfer, all the graphics are backwards because when you press it on the heat press, you take it off, it's the right way. If you got a press like mine, you gotta do it at 190 Celsius. That's what my machine is at, at Celsius for 12 seconds. And if you want the screen printed look, you wanna take it off real fast as a hot peel. If you want that glossy look, you want to wait for it to be a cold peel. Just depends on what you want and how you want to do it. And I'm going to do mine first because I haven't. Just want to do a test. Just in case if I have to go back and uh, reprint them. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. The one that I did for myself, I messed up on accident because I moved it too fast and it was still hot and it stuck to itself and I peeled it and it ripped some of uh, Method Man's braids off. So I'm gonna let this one, I'm gonna peel this one cold. I'm gonna take this off of the, uh, the press and uh, as you can see, I put uh, Teflon tape down on it so it stays on there perfect. And now we just, you know, cool it down and then peel it off. Because this one we sold on eBay. And the other one that I made will show you. It's good enough for a workout shirt. Actually, I'm going to make it into a workout shirt so I can get the sleeves off and everything. So, well, bam, should make another one of these for myself. MOT. The moment of truth. And I like killing food. Yep, we're in there. In there, like swim wear. The Wu Tang shirt is for the children, is the one for me. And you might be able to see where I messed up on it. You might not be able to see where I messed up on it, but I messed up on it because it got stuck on itself. And now I know what to do to wait for this to cool down and peel off. Look at that. Or, or peel it. Take it off of the press and peel it hot if I want to peel it hot. But peeling it cold, it says you could peel it hot or cold. And I think peeling it cold will be better. But here is the Wu Tang. This is a workout shirt straight for the gym. I'm going to cut the sleeves off. And now here's the one that I did for eBay. This guy's going to be hyped because I'm hyped on it because I was like, man, I wish I had it for myself. MF Doom. Sick. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for him. I'm hyped that he found it and I got to make it for him because I've been making the same stuff on eBay lately. It's been the same sticker and same t-shirt. I don't mind making it, but it's so cool when people buy something different other than that's been a Monday madness. Um, I got to go find my battery chargers for my GoPro and my back of my GoPros. Uh, I have a tripod with a GoPro attachment that I can plug a microphone on top of it and the GoPro goes inside of it and I can't I know I, it's somewhere around here there's a slider that slides over so the GoPro don't fall out and I always misplace the slider all the time so it's not a big deal this shirt's hard this shirt's hard even though that I messed up on it we're out here Monday and Friday get with the program or get lost uh, do all that good YouTube stuff